All right, so this is a student orientation um, talking about services, library support, and resources offered by the Kirk Library while we're in online um, only mode. And you saw us at the beginning of the presentation, but here are images. Um, I'm on the right. My name's Katie Hart, and Ryer's on the left. The goals for today's session um, are to meet us and your librarians, get help online, so learning how to get help online, learning about what online services we have for students, as well as exploring and finding our online library resources. So first off is library support. There are so many ways to get in touch with us. Um, one is email from our website, and I'll show you in just a second where that would be located on our website. The email address is librarian at centralia.edu, and this email actually sends to all of the librarians, and we monitor it um, while we're working, and sometimes at night too. Sometimes we'll see an email come in when we're um, outside of working hours and respond to it. The other option you have, which is an immediate response all the time, is chat. We have a chat service that's staffed 24-7 um, by librarians. So when it's 2 or 3 a.m. at night, you might get a partner librarian answering, but Centralia librarians are staffing this service from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Monday through Friday. And then... Um, we can answer questions by phone. The easiest way to set up a phone or a video meeting is to contact us through email and um, then let us know when you're available and we can we can call you or video chat with you. Okay, so the library support, um, the ways you can get to that is on the website in the bottom right hand corner, there's a contact us box that has all the different options of ways to get a hold of us. There's also um, up in the top right, mid right area of the library website, there's a support drop down that has um, our contact information as well as the 24 seven chat. And newer to our website now is this pop-up screen that will come up whenever you spent a certain amount of time on the website, usually about a minute. It'll pop up and, and prompt you if you have a question. And this is actually um, included in our LibGuides, our library FAQ, and OneSearch. Here is part of our website that's showing the subject librarians. Basically, each of us is responsible for uh, a certain set of programs and degrees, or in some cases, some of us are assigned to administrative entities or other groups on campus. Um, and the main things that we do as subject librarians is and this is kind of like, where will you see us and where will you see the work that we do? Um, a lot of you will see us doing instruction. We will come into your class, uh, be that right now, it'll be in your virtual class. Um, we do a lot of research support. Um, so if you're in a certain program that is doing a research paper, um, like, let's say you're in nursing and you're doing a research paper. Um, I am actually your subject librarian and um, you could get great help from Katie, but I have the. I have the contact of I have close contact with the nursing faculty, so I, I know what those assignments look like. I know how they've changed over the years. And it's usually just a little quicker if we work directly together because I have that closer knowledge and that's kind of my area of assignment and responsibility. Um, so that's what like research support would look like. 
And then we also work with your teachers to create online learning guides and Canvas materials and other, other materials that you can kind of use to help yourself learn more about uh, doing library research. Um, so you may wonder what's up with the library building at the moment? Is it open at all? Um, as of right now, we have just started to have very limited operations. Uh, the, the building is open for students on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, and what this looks like is basically the doors are open. You can use the space and the the tables and chairs in the space, and you can use the computers. There are safety measures that have been put into place and more are coming soon to make sure that everyone is staying at safe distances and plexiglass and all of that kind of stuff. Um, there are some employees working in the building, but by and large, the librarians are not working in the library. And more what you'll find is Blazor Central. Uh, they are operating in their space and they're helping students directly. There's going to be a kiosk set up where you can get virtual help from a librarian. Uh, so you can come in and I'm not sure exactly what this will look like because I haven't been there, but basically there will be a computer that will allow you to initiate a chat with us or send an email to us um, so you can start getting some help in the building from us. So that's what the library looks like. Great. And I'll also oh, add printing. Yep, yeah, printing. Dang exactly. It. <laughs> um, excitingly, um, the printing will be free in the building during this time. Um, so Ryer started mentioning some some library services and ways that you can contact us during this time. We've already talked about the 24 seven librarian chat. There is also on our website under the FAQ um, on that same drop down of support. Um, the FAQ option, which is pretty robust. It has all kinds of questions from how do I access the Internet or Wi Fi to can I trust this website? Is it credible? Um, we also are offering book takeout now, so if you do find an item in the physical collection that you want to request, um, you can contact Heisu and I'll, I'll go into a little more depth with that as well. And we have our laptops and Wi-Fi hotspots for checkout as well as interlibrary loan. And on the right here on this slide, I just want to point out these, these are our staff. Um, there's one person not pictured. Uh, her name's Holly, but this is our entire staff. These are the faces that you'll likely see um, if you're coming into the library. And these are the faces behind the scenes that help all of our services um, be delivered. So for circulating items, so those are things that check in and check out. Um, book takeout, you can contact Hey Sue Albright, and here is her email um, listed on the slide. And she is also the contact for laptops and Wi Fi hotspots. For interlibrary loan, um, so what I should first start with what interlibrary loan is. Interlibrary loan is a service that allows you, when we don't have access to something within the Kirk Library system, we can do an interlibrary loan request and get it from a library anywhere in the world. Um, normally, we would include physical items in our interlibrary loan items. However, during online operations, um, we, we obviously can't circulate the physical items, but we can still get online articles 
for our students and campus. And on here on this slide is an image of where you would access the interlibrary loan form. It's very simple and interlibrary loan items usually arrive within one to three days. So it's pretty fast as well. Yeah, so I'll take this section where I just kind of want to give a little bit of a tour and kind of a tour of the library homepage. And I want to show you how to find online materials uh, basically through OneSearch and through our databases. Uh, so this will be just a very quick, it's not even a crash course, just really showing you a couple things, pointing to a few areas so that you can get started on the right foot. So here is the library's homepage. Uh, some of you may go there directly. It's centralia.edu, and then you just do forward slash library. Also, from the Centralia College homepage, you can find the link to the library under resources. Additionally, the Kirk Library is linked to on most Canvas courses. So materials that we have online, actually, even before the pandemic, um, the vast majority of resources we have are online. So um, you can still access all of those resources. And those include ebooks, um, articles from newspapers, popular magazines, academic journal articles, um, historic documents, streaming videos, and statistics and data. We have a huge collection of uh, various resources, as you can see. So to access these resources, there's a few different ways that you can get to them from our website. Our website would be the portal to access all of these. You can use the Find tab. You can search OneSearch. And then you can search the, um, the Find box with the, the image of the students in the computer lab. The Find tab will direct you not only to OneSearch, but our databases and other resources as well. So OneSearch is a collection of physical items. So that can include our books, DVDs, et cetera, as well as our online resources. So it really is a good one-stop shop to first do your search and get an idea of where holdings are for that particular topic. And here's an image of OneSearch. Um, and I was just teaching a class yesterday and, and talking to the students about OneSearch. It will operate differently than Google. However, there are some positives to that. It allows you to search much more um, detailed in a detailed way. So it will allow you to drill down in ways that Google will not. Um, and as you become more familiar with this tool, you probably will um, enjoy using it more and more for the additional options it provides for your search. We also have library databases. Um, we have, last time I looked, 48 databases. They, some are general purpose, like um, Academic Search Complete is a great um, interdisciplinary database. It talks about all different topics. Then we have some subject-specific ones um, in business or education or health. Uh, and then we have some special media types, so the type of resource you're looking at. So the examples here are newspapers or streaming video. Um, and then I will add that we have some um, that we pay for. A, a large amount of the databases we have are subscription databases, so we pay for them. But then we also have some open access databases as well. So to get to the databases, you would use that Find tab that was on the home screen of the library website and you would just navigate to the database option under the find tab and this is the page that will show up is the listing of all of our databases and you can see here um, Ryer actually maintains this list and has done a great job of highlighting these are the key databases that would be the best bets for places to start with a general research topic 
However, if you search those best bet databases and you're not finding exactly what you want, you can then search by subject by using this all subjects drop down option. And then the other option you have is to search by the type of database. So for example, if you knew you needed a video or you needed um, a newspaper, um, you would use that database type search. Okay, so what we covered in today's session is um, who your librarian is, how to contact us for help, we learned about some of our online services that we offer, such as book checkout and, and technology checkout, and then how to find online library resources. And with that, we thank you, and we'll now stop recording. Until next time.